Yes, you are so welcome, and uh, this is Ivan Arenda once again, your produce guy, taking you through the cabbages, how to grow cabbages, and the basic, basic requirement that you would need. Yeah, uh, first of all, we assume that uh, we all know how to raise the cabbage. For those of us who do not know, um, the nursery part uh, we have a clip about the nursery we have done a clip about the, about the nursery raising beta seedlings and we can always go back to it yeah so here we beginning at transplanting and of course the nursery takes 30 days and during the nursery just a highlight you have to take care and look out to control especially damping off and then caterpillars and the other chewing pests. Yeah, when we're transplanting, of course, uh, our garden must be ready, uh, well dug without wheat, and then well watered. It should be moist, the soil should be moist. And then the holes are going to be, the planting holes, interplant is going to be uh, 45, uh, centimeters that is a uh, 0.45 meters and then interior is going to be uh, 60 meters and that is for um, sorry 60 centimeters that is 0.6 meters yeah and uh, that's going to be for a leafy variety for varieties that are, do not go so leafy uh, we can reduce the inter interior spacing to about uh, 45 centimeters or 50 centimeters yeah but all that will come with uh, uh, points to note so here we're going to go through here uh, this after we, we we have our spacing demarcation then we make the holes large enough of course and then we have to put a handful of manure and one tablespoon of a phosphate fertilizer. Uh, this is to ensure your new seedlings establish more quick and more faster and, and strong. Yeah, and at this point on the very same day of transplanting, you're going to spray against the caterpillars and against the cutworm the two major pests at that stage because if you don't do so the next morning you are going to have uh, some plants being cut by the cutworms so you'll always see them falling off yeah and being cut to the ground to, to the soil level ground level yeah so we have to avoid that because our, our seeds are precious and we really need to keep them strong and stunning so that is the week one and in the week two on the 14th day we're going to spray again against the cutworms and the caterpillars we are going to focus on protection protection against blights and other fungal diseases and we, we we're going to do that using uh, any protection fungicide about, uh, out there and then we are going to apply one tablespoon uh, in a, a ring a ring method on each plant yeah one tablespoon actually not a tablespoon it's one one butter top yeah one butter top on each uh, plant and then we are going to cover it uh, with soil. Now here we are applying calcium and ammonium nitrogen. Yeah, so uh, this is to uh, assure the plants uh, gain more vigor, make the vegetation, and also calcium is going to be for their uh, uh, strength of the cell walls and also uh, most perhaps uh, look onto the calcium. Uh, uh, deficiencies yeah and then we move to week three and on the week three we're going to do another protection uh, and then we're going to target uh, uh, on, on a 
bit of uh, a soft rot and then black rot and then we will apply a copper uh, ox chloride or any other copper based fungicide that you could come approach uh, you, you could come across yeah so and in this we have um, a few aphids coming upon uh, the plants or coming in the plant coming to the plants so here we have uh, uh, what we call a, a neem oil extract where we use the neem tree leaves to get this uh, uh, extract and it's majorly for protection yeah so against aphids yeah so uh, in the fourth week in the fourth week we expect our cabbages to be bigger and we will do another protection uh, with the protective fungicide and then uh, apply the copper for the soft rots and the black rots which are bacteria and then uh, well, we will have uh, a systemic insecticide uh, which is a diamethyl and uh, and uh, 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 I will add can, which is uh, two bottles uh, on each plant, calcium ammonium nitrate. Yeah, so this is to prepare the plant to start capping. Yeah, so uh, when we move to the fifth week, we will uh, try to shift from a very highly intensive chemical input to a much favorable uh, uh, regenerative practice and here we're going to use uh, organic organic uh, product and or much more uh, close to organic product yeah and in this thing here in, in, in this protocol we're going to use a name oil extract plus a peppermint oil yeah extract so we're going to mix the both and then continue to spray against the aphids and then do protection with the potassium bicarbonate and then do detoxification and growth boost with uh, uh, with the product local product we have a product here called sg1000 yep yep so these are going to be our major major products to use so that is week five and in week six when we enter week six we are going to do protection uh, with the same potassium bicarbonate and then uh, spray using copper for soft rots and black rots and then continue our neem oil extract plus peppermint oil against the aphids yeah so in the seventh week we we going to do the same uh protection with the potassium bicarbonate and then uh copper for the soft rots uh, the, the rots and the, the soft and the black rot and then we still do a neem oil extract together with the peppermint oil and then as we enter week eight we're just going to do the same uh, potassium bicarbonate for protection and then uh, uh, a copper for the black and soft rods and then uh, neem oil extract and the peppermint for the aphids and that will go through to week nine and in the tenth week that will be harvesting so there is no need for spraying yeah so we will end our protocol in the ninth week thank you thank you so much we can always adjust this is not a silver bullet yeah we can adjust according to your region according to where you are watching from but uh, uh this is what we can deliver thank you so much ivan arinda your produce guy